guys, today I'm doing like a mini review of the beautiful pearl coat from Collector. Okay, so like I said, today this video is just a little mini review. Um, a full review will be up on the blog, which I'll post the link for down below. Um, this video was meant to go up yesterday, but I thought, considering the review of the coat is also going up today, I thought I'd just do them on the same day. Kind of made more sense. So, here it is, the beautiful, utterly stunning pearl coat from Collector. I fell in love with this coat about probably just over a year ago now when they released the Autumn Winter Collection for 2013. I lusted over the coat, but at the time I didn't really need a new coat. So I just thought, you know, live and die, I just just get over it really. You're not, you're not gonna have it, there's no need for you to have it. Just just let it go, Anne. just let it go. Fast forward a year, um, my old coat got ruined, kind of needed a new one and I needed one that was warm for winter because a few years ago I got really really ill and I had pneumonia um, so I had to be really careful and I do have to wrap up in the winter because I get sick really really quickly and I saw the coat was re-released in beige and um, before it was released in beige, re-released in beige, they brought it back in a green colour. And I couldn't decide if I liked it or not. I didn't know if I loved it as much as the beige because I generally had fallen in love with the beige. And it was like a dream come true when when I saw they'd re-released it, and I was like, I have to have it. I really need to own this coat. And I got it, and I oh my my life has changed. It's so so beautiful. I've already done um, a couple of photo shoots with it, and I'm gonna get the pictures back for that as well. Um, and they'll be on my Facebook page, which I'll post the link for down below. Um. So yeah, here it is, the beautiful and utterly stunning pearl coat from Collector. Okay, so as you can see with me modelling it here, and um, the beautiful, beautiful coat I have is in the colour beige. You can also get it in green, like I said before. And um, this this coat is a 1930s style sort of coat. Um, it's just utterly stunning. It's got pleating on the back and on the bust which makes it quite flattering and it's perfect for kind of the hourglass figure. The skirt of the dress has, it's kind of more flared, it's kind of like a circle skirt really. It's really easy to twirl in and it's perfect to wear obviously with uh, swing dresses because you can wear your petticoat and your beautiful dress and it, it kind of fits well with the whole outfit. You can see on the collar we have a faux fox fur collar and trim on the collar of the coat on the collar um, trim of the bottom of the coat and on the hands as well. This is obviously faux fur, like, like just want to confirm that because Collective have had a few comments saying is that fur real? It's not, it is faux fur and it's super super soft. On the collar on the top of the coat you can actually button it up so it goes kind of more up and it's more poofy which is also really good if you really want to wrap up warm and it's a really bitterly cold day. So as you can see we have some really really beautiful buttons on here too, it's just, this coat is just stunning, this is just ep the epitome of stunning, I cannot describe how much I love this coat, it's so beautiful and it's just, it's amazingly, it just fits amazingly, it's just, I can't, I'm speechless, I just love this coat to the death, I don't think I can find a fault with it at all, it's just stunning, it's got a really pretty lining, which is like a soft satiny silk sort of, material. It has pockets as well which is great. The kind of deepish which you can put your phone maybe compact mirror and a lipstick in if you really wanted to. Depends what you want to put in your pockets. You can fit quite a fair amount in them and I just love this coat. You can you can dress it up, you can dress it down but you always look stunning in this coat. Like nothing could, nothing can show the coat up. You, if you want to grab attention from someone just, just wear the coat. It's just stunning. I really I really can't fathom how much I love this coat. If, if you don't get it, I love it. I just, I love it. Everything about it is beautiful. And I just want to say top marks to Collective for just for bringing this coat back because you've a, made my life. You've B, kind of made me really, really happy and, and loads of other people I know happy because I know quite a few other people were lusting over this coat because they, they didn't get it last year because they couldn't get it. It was either sold out or they couldn't afford it. And now they've got it this year because you've brought it back. And see, I just want to say a really big thank you to Collective because I buy a lot of their clothing. I'm not sponsored by them at all. This is every product I have of theirs is bought with my own money. 
and they do not ask me to like sponsor or anything. I do this out of my own free will. But it's really nice of them because on Halloween, I if you didn't see my blog, I did a Halloween outfit today, which was the Dead Diner doll. They actually featured me as a collective girl of the day, which I want to say a huge thank you for. And I just love the brand, they're really lovely, they produce beautiful clothing. And it's of a really high quality, like I don't mind paying that bit extra for a really really good piece like this coat. And for this coat, this coat was I think £185, um, I'll put the link obviously on the blog review as well, I'll go into more thorough detail of the coat. But this was £185 and honestly a lot of people say that's a lot of money for a coat, but honestly trust me it is totally totally worth it. It's a beautiful beautiful design, it's comfortable and it will definitely keep you warm in the winter. Okay guys, so I will see you hopefully on Monday or Tuesday for tea time, episode number four I think it is. Um, I have actually got a few things I want to discuss with you guys. Um, so I'm not sure how long that's going to be, whether I'm going to split it into two videos of what I need to talk about. But I want to say um, thanks for the Tumblr messages. I've actually got a few people that said to me, can you talk about this, can you talk about that? So they will be coming up in the next kind of few episodes of tea time. I might do them in consecutive weeks, depending on what my time is like. Um, but until then guys, I will see you next week. Bye!